Hi everyone, a beautiful Friday, a beautiful weekend to all of you. We're now on class three of our season two of the virtual training class of the Philippines HR Group. We'll be starting at exactly 6 p.m. And uh, right now I'm seeing a lot of people joining us. Uh, shout out first, of course, to our sponsor, jobstreet.com, who has been our sponsor since season one of the Philippines HR Group virtual training class. As you know, we started the virtual learning session um, last uh, first week of May, and we already had six classes. Um, season one is composed of four classes, and now for Season two is also composed of four classes, and we're now on class three of season two. Again, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we'll be starting at exactly 6 p.m. We have a very interesting topic for today with, of course, our very seasoned and respectable uh, guest facilitator for today's class. I'm seeing a lot more people coming in, so let me just give a shout out. Hi to Alejandro de la Cruz, to Valerie Robledo, to Mary Montero, Cynthia Vicente. Good, beautiful Friday to all of you. Sharon del Rosario Oliveros, good Friday. Cynthia Vicente. Um, by the way, team, uh, your mic or your, your audio is temporarily on mute. Uh, by the end of the presentation of our speaker, uh, we will be able to get your, uh, your questions via Q&A. You just need to type it on the Q&A tab at the lower part of your Zoom panel. If you're seeing the Q&A tab, just put there all of your questions and we will be reading them later on when the Q&A starts. Hello to Aaron Alberto. It's a Friday today. It's been raining the whole afternoon. I hope everyone's good. Again, uh, this program is brought to you by the Philippines HR Group, uh, one of the largest online community of HR and HR aligned professionals in the Philippines. Currently, we are a more than 212,000 um, members of the Philippines HR Group community. And right now, we are running the Philippines HR Group virtual learning session, which is already on season two. And today is class three. So good afternoon, everyone. I'm seeing about 44 people already on uh, the class. And uh, hi to Rosites Mabanag, Landy Santos. I'm seeing Paul. Paul, is this Paul Herrera? Let me just check. <laughs> I'm supposed to have Paul as a co-host for today. I'm not sure if he's already in. Okay, uh, Paul, you have to use your, your um, panelist login. Check on the first email that was sent to you. Okay, uh, in two minutes, we'll be starting. Hello to Janelle Garcia, Lani Santos, and I'm seeing 47 people now. I'm sure more people will be joining us. Um, we actually have more than 300 people who signed in for this class. And uh, of course, I know everyone is excited to be part of this learning session. We're just waiting for more people to join. Hi, Cristel Guevara. OK, 
Okay, so um, I think we can already start. Uh, Paul Herrera, my co-host, will be joining in a bit. But of course, time is uh, important for all of us. We, will not, we are now starting our Philippines HR Group virtual learning session, class three. And as I've said, uh, the topic... Jet. He carries with him over 35 years of combined hands-on experience and practice in the fields of hotel, resorts, and cruise ship operations, training, education and development, organizations development, and management of work groups. His last post was the Assistant Vice President for the Corporate Training and Development of the Fast Logistics Group managing a training and development of more than 3,500 employees worldwide. He is a multi-awarded operations person. He rose from being a clerk typist to becoming one of LBC's Air Cargo's youngest branch manager in 1985. Having completed his organization's development certificate course from the Pennsylvania State University under Dr. William Rothwell, Sir Jet also completed his OD certificate course from Ateneo de Manila Scored. He's a certified DDI facilitator for Service Plus since 1990, and he's also a certified facilitator for over 60 training programs under DDI's IM uh, since 2006. Mr. Jet Nera is also elected as the president of the Philippine Society for Training and Development in 2008, Sir Jed continues to be an active member of PSTD as chairman of the Board of Trustees for 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our senior mentors at the Philippines HR Group, I am honored to introduce you, Mr. Jet Nera. Hi, Sir Jet. Good afternoon. Hi, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, we have. 51 so far. We have 51 people who have joined us and I'm sure many more will be joining us. I'm also seeing Mr. Neil Lumakad, our Vice President External of the Philippines HR Group. Um, I'm still waiting for Mr. Paul Herrera, my co-host for today. But nevertheless, Sir Jet, let's start. Sir Jet, it's 77 days since okay. the time that yes. the... That the um, uh, government has declared lockdown and you are mm -hmm. actually part you are managing a training and development company uh, uh -huh. I'm, I've heard that you're one of your industry is one of the most hardly hit uh, because of this global pandemic how are you how are you guys coping up how are the the our our colleagues in the training and development or HR consultancy is coping up during these times of the pandemic uh, yun ang magandang question, Darwin, ano? because uh, I will be talking about an experience which is very personal. How to survive as a training practitioner in this time, in this age, na wala talaga eh. No? Uh, not, only, not only postponements and cancellations, kundi tumigil talaga everything. No? I think after the hospitality or hotel industry, Young events and the training events I uh, one of them no na natumigil uh, so anong relevance natin ngayon ano and uh, this is our challenge of uh, this learning session so that uh, they get to pick up our participants get to pick up exactly what are we doing right now okay uh, sir jet um your topic is the three R's of winning against the pandemic. Um, let me just uh, relate to our listeners and audience for today what you have given me. What are the objectives of this training class? Um, it says here that the objective is to rediscover 
uh, to rediscover the what matters most in our lives. Uh -huh. To learn specific tips, refocusing and reorienting our businesses and careers, and also okay. learn specific tips with regards to relaunching for the new normal. This is very exciting because um, every one of us is looking forward to how can we really cope on the coming new normal or what are we to expect in the coming new normal and that and most of us are feeling a lot of anxiety are feeling a lot of um uh, we have a lot of questions in in in, in our mm -hmm. mind of what will happen in the coming weeks and months uh during this new normal um as as i mentioned before i think um during the discussion with sir Ricky De Vera, we, we, we focus on the current situation where uh, COVID-19 is actually a uh, VUCA situation or, or, or a VUCA problem. And we're looking forward to have this uh, session with you. So, Sir Jeff, uh, I will give you the floor. And ladies and gentlemen, to all our listeners and viewers right now, Mr. Jet Nera, Managing Director okay. of Shine, uh, JG Nair Training Consultant will be presenting to you the three R's of winning against the pandemic. Okay. Thank you, Darwin. Let me share my uh, screen now. All uh, right. Okay. All right. Is it visible there? Kita ba? Sige. Can you hear me, Darwin? Hi, Paul. Hi, hi, Sir Jet. How are you? Yes. Sige, habang hinahanap mo yan. Hello, good evening, everyone. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I'm having problem technically because of uh, because of the rain. We're very excited, Sir Jet, to have All your right. presentation. Okay. I can seem to load the screen sharing channel. But, yes, yes. Uh, my slides are not showing, Paul. Not yet, Sir Jet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. So, having fini figure out ni Sir Jet, we would like to thank Job Street for partnering with us for Philippines HR Group. Thank you, Job Street, for your uh support always for Philippines HR group and Paul let me formally introduce you as my co-host so <laughs> Mr. Paul Herrera is a former team member of mine he's also part of the core team of the Philippines HR group he's a HR director of one of the BPOs here in uh Metro Manila so Mr. Paul Herrera will be joining me today as a co-host and he has uh, been co-hosting with me and Neil Lumaka during the previous uh, virtual learning sessions and he will be in charge later on for your for our Q&A of course when you have your questions through uh, to the presentation or towards our facilitator for today Mr. Jet Nera. Thank you, sir, so much, Sir Darwin. Guys, uh, if you notice, you're all in mute. Uh, later on, uh, after the presentation of Sir Jet, we'll be giving you a chance to speak if you have questions. Also, on your 
um, we also have your Q&A tab. You can, uh, you can type your questions there while we're ongoing sessions with Sir Jet. And uh, we'll answer that after the, the, after the session. So we also have chat group. We also have chat uh, panel here. So you can, you can chat whatever you want. You have questions along the way and then we'll take note of that. We'll get that questions and uh, we'll answer that after uh, the presentation. I'm seeing uh, more people joining us. Mr. Marvin Hernandez, Liv Santana, uh, Jose Jolly Villavisa. Uh, we also have um, Jason Makaraig, all the way from Nasugbu, Batangas, Ms. Janelle Garcia. So, Sir Jet, are we all good? Uh huh, let me check. Let me check, let me check, let me check. The Hello, challenge Jason. of uh, technical, no? Technical. Okay, let's <laughs> open it. Technical, okay, it's just live. Let's <laughs> open it, you know? <laughs> no worries. I'm sure all the people who are with us right now, uh, 64 people and uh, more to join us, is very much excited for you for your uh, discussion and presentation regarding your three R's of winning this pandemic. So, check, uh, maybe you just have to click the the first slide or the, is that it? Yan ba yan? Yes sir, we're, we're actually uh, seeing your, your deck already. Maybe you can you see my deck already, yes. I see. Okay, sa akin nag iba kasi yung screen versus kanina sa rehearsals natin. Anyhow, all right, uh, okay. you can see my screen. You need to enlarge the, the first deck, the first, what do you call this? The first slide. Kasi nakikita po namin, sir, yung buong, buong uh, deck itself. The, uh -huh. the different. So, Jack, would you like, um, if you can send me the copy, and then Paul uh, can can have a discussion with our with, with our audience while Sir Jet sent me a copy of your presentation. So sure. okay, see. From my end, I can I can um, share it. Share it. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, let me. Don't sa email address mo ano no? Yes. Yes, Sir Jet. You can stop okay. All right. Uh, this is the proof that we're live, Sir Jet. <laughs> yes, we're live. <laughs> um, make our, our okay, you know? comfortable. Right. We have right. 62 people on the line. Um, there was a shout out from Jason Makaraig. He's watching right. all over, uh, all the way from Nasugbu, Batangas. And then, so for all the audience that are listening right now, maybe you can share to us where you are from, where you are watching this live. Ayan. Hi, hi, Jam Gordo from Lipa City. Wow. And we have Jolene from Palawan. Wow, nice. We have All from Las Piñas as well, Lani, right? Lani Santos from Pala from Las Piñas. Oh, really? We have Valerie Robredo from New Jersey. Ah, sorry, Jersey City. Where's Jersey City? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and we have from Calabria. I mean, how does it look? Uh, yung deck pa rin? I haven't. Sir, it's still the whole. Yeah, the it's whole. It's the whole deck. deck. Yes. It's, it's still the entire deck that we're seeing. Bakit kaya ano no? Baliktad siya no? Should be uh... okay. Hello, Aaron from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Wow. Mm. 
We also have Rose Mambiar from Dasmarinas Cavite, Fatima Fausto from Tarlac City. Wow, nice. Uh, Ada Gumaya says hi, Sir Jack, and to everyone. Anna is from Calamba, Laguna. And then Enrico mm, Recio. Rico, you're there. Hi, Rico. Rico Recio is uh, was part of uh, the team that went to India um, this February. Last year. Yeah, this year. Yeah. This year for the World HRD Congress. He's a fellow awardee for the 501 top HRs, uh, global HRs in the Philippines. Yes, Sir Jack, we're already seeing your slide. Know, yeah. <laughs> that's it? Yes, that's yes, it. Sir. Okay. okay. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I present to you Mr. Jack Nera for his topic. That thank you, Darwin. Thank you, thank you, challenge. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I heard uh, we have Aya Robledo from New Jersey, all the way from New York, New Jersey area. Fantastic. The power of this medium and the power of uh, Zoom technology right now. All right. I'll be sharing from the heart. Darwin started with saying na ang unang tinamaan talaga, no? events, eh? hospitality, hotels, and of course, lahat naman. But uh, in our case, HR, yung training, yung tumigil, no? yung development, development side. So let me share with you for the next uh, few minutes uh, my realizations and uh, specific uh, doable and actionable items that we can do, although we are in GCQ already. All right. I saw this uh, quotation last April from the author of the Harry Potter series. Ang sabi niya, life coaches are pressuring people to be productive during lockdown. The focus of the quote or of the statement is, it's all right na do nothing. Let us pressure ourselves to be accomplished or to accomplish something to survive alone, alive, this pandemic is very good already. Now, I have no quarrel with this. This is all right. It's just that if we will look at the numbers, let's look at the numbers. We've had 61 days under ECQ already, from March uh, 15 or 16 until it was lifted, naging MECQ, we had 61 days. We're still officially under MECQ up to now until Sunday. That's about 15 days. Then by June 1, we shift to GCQ, which is more or less 15 days. So kung bibilangin mo ito, 77 days na ito eh. We're now on the 77 day today. And if you will include the 15 days under GCQ, meaning until June 15, sandali, 91 days ito. This is 91 days, which will be the longest lockdown in the world. So uh, don't get me wrong, it is okay to go Netflix. It is okay to go HBO and the many distractions. However, it is too much of 91 days, too much of Netflix and the same for 91 days. We've got to accomplish something. The 91 days is about 25% of 2020 already. Ubus na yung 25% ng 2020. The 91 days represents the 25% of the year already. And if we just Netflix binged and the like, parang sayang. No? Parang sayang. So, we've got to win something. Uh, with apologies to Darwin, dahil pangalan niya yan, win. We've got to win something at least for the next remaining days, well, 15. Of course, there is another threat. Baka daw bumalik after the GCQ in case something goes wrong, baka bumalik uli sa MACQ or ECQ. But nevertheless, even with GCQ until June 15, we're into 19, 91 days already. We've got to win something. All right, question for everyone. You may, I think, Darwin, they can type this, no? Their answer to this. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir can, uh, our audience uh, can type all. it on the chat box. So, uh, for one or two minutes, for everyone, all the way to New York, Kalamba, uh, Makati, uh, you may want to share your, uh, what are your wins the past 77 days? And then let me share my own also. No? In one word, in one word, what are your wins for the past 77 days? Yan. Sige nga. You can see the chats, Darwin, Paul. Yes, Sir Jet. Uh, we're looking at it. Yeah. Well, there are there are answers that webinars. We have the S W S, the family. S W S. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Probably family. It's it's more of time with family. The virtual time with family. family. Right. All right. Attending free trainings online, learning. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So these are very good because seven to seven days as of today. And uh, 16, 15, 16 days to go until June 15. So what is, uh, what is the 3R formula? Ganito siya ka simple. What, is I, what I have discovered. Because at the start, like many of us, I was angry. Galit ako eh. Like, bakit lockdown? Bakit uh, to totally tigil, no? Uh, and, and let me share with you in, a, in the next slides where I, I am coming from. And after one week of pure disappointments, pure galit, sandali muna, I had, to, I had to shift and finally tune in to the three R's. And this is it. Reflect, rediscover, relaunch. Let's go through each of them one by one on how do we apply this on a personal basis. Reflect, rediscover, relaunch. First of all, let's do a bit of reflection because I have been hearing that um, wala daw nakapag-predict. Everybody was unprepared. No one was aware of what's about to happen. But let us reflect the first R of our three R's. Look at this slide. As early as 2005, President Bush already warned us of a pandemic. As early as 2005 or 15 years ago, he created a committee, he created a, sta a staffing office, he uh, came up with a budget warning everyone as early as 2005 or 15 years ago that there could be another pandemic. This is because we got to read about the Spanish flu in 1918, and he got so serious about this. In 2014, which is six years ago, another US president, President Obama, again warned us that we have to be ready to tackle a pandemic, otherwise it will be, it will be too late for all of us. And of course, the very famous uh, TED talk of uh, Bill Gates in 2015, warning us again, and even donating his own money about the possibility of another pandemic after the 1918 Spanish flu. In short, we cannot say that we were not informed. We cannot say, reflecting now, let us reflect, reflecting now, we cannot say that nobody told us, warned us about this because as early as 2005, as early as 2014, and as early as 2015, pero parang we were so busy with a lot of things we were so busy with a lot of destructions that we didn't listen. Many of us didn't listen. So this is the first R. We've got to stop all destructions. Perhaps we need to do this as a habit on a regular basis, not only during pandemics. Gawin na natin regular ito. We stop all destructions, we pause, and we assess. So reflect. And how to do this? We stop all destructions, pause, and we assess. And there are hundreds of destructions. These are just some of them. I am guilty of this. I am guilty of being a Facebook addict, a Netflix uh, addict, among others. I finished The Last Dance, all episodes. I even repeated watching some of the episodes. I am guilty of this, of this but because 91 days is 91 days is 91 days. 
we've got to stop these destructions. And the other many destructions all around us and pause and assess. Now, let me share with you a framework. Share you also, no? Uh, my framework. A uh, very good friend, uh, Mr. Pido Aguilar, loves to say, if it's all right to do nothing. So, dito natin gamitin ngayon sa first R, reflect by stopping destructions, taking a pause, so that we are able to assess. So, it's all right to just sit down, do nothing, pause, do nothing but assess. And how do we assess? Uh, many of us, uh, we in the training community, training industry, got so frightened, uh, angry, frustrated, all of those negative feelings. And yet, I love this quotation, we suffer more often in imagination. Uh, this is by Seneca, quotation from him. We suffer more often in imagination than in, in reality. So let me... Let me share with you a framework which works for me um, ever since way back. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a serious exercise of asking the question, what if we define, we prevent, we repair? I call it DPR under assessment. We ask the question, what if? Worst case possible scenario. We define the scenario. We identify things that we can do to prevent it. And if we cannot prevent it, things that we can do to repair. So apply natin ano, to what happened to me personally. Uh, hindi po nagyayabang uh, without showing the specific numbers. This is our data for Shine for the last two years. That is our figure in 2018. We've been in existence since 2008. And uh, we've been running programs for various clients uh, all over the country and even some countries in Asia like Hong Kong, Vietnam, uh, Malaysia, and uh, uh, isang, ano, Sri Lanka. And look at the numbers. In 2018 alone, it was a record-breaking year for us. We had 23 team building alone, 23 team building workshops in 2018 alone. This is almost two team buildings per month in 2018. Team buildings pa lang po yan. In 2019, the figure is still much better. In fact, I have been telling friends, January 2020 started so good. Uh, our record uh, prior to 2020 is about nine confirmed training days, nine. Medyo mahina ang January. Eh. So nine training days for January. That's the record. For January 2020, the confirmed number of training days is 17 days. So sabi ko, wow, fantastic. The 2020 will break 2019, will break 2018. Unfortunately, this is what happened. We were hit by uh, uh, the Taal volcano eruptions in January, and the effects lasted all the way up to middle of February. And in the middle of February, what happened next? I COVID-19. So from January to February 2020 alone, 17 training deals canceled. And from March until today, 100% cancellations. May iiyak ka talaga dito. No? May iiyak ka talaga dito. So, sasabihin natin, worst case scenario, may pwede pa bang mangyari na mas masama? Meron pa, no? What if, ito yung what if natin. What if we still do not get any revenues, any clients beyond June? So, we've got to do this exercise, simple framework of assessing what if. So define that then. If we do not get any revenues by June, define that then. Zero cash flow. Now let me just cite two. You can have as many, as many items as you want under the first column. You can have 10, 15, 20 items under the first column. I am sharing with you two items which I have listed under define. 
So what if we still do not get any revenues by June and beyond? Zero cash flow. Number two, depression. Kasi normal yan, tao tayo eh. So but going beyond defining uh, the situation, what can we specifically do to prevent? So this is what we've listed, what I've listed. Perhaps I could file a loan. Perhaps I could cut costs. Perhaps I could avail government aids. Whatever is available out there, and there, there, are, there are many so far. Perhaps we can collect uh, accounts, uh, uh, existing account receivables. Uh, and all of this we did. Uh, we actually filed the loan versus, again, versus our uh, insurance coverages. Regarding cutting costs, I am a bit lucky because I don't have a payroll to maintain. Um, uh, not much overhead cost. In terms of government aid, ayan, nandyan si Paul. We get to receive at least 5,000 pesos from uh, the city of Makati. Paul, na receive mo na ba yung sayo? And uh, of course, uh, uh, the account receivables. So meron pang konti. But uh, under the column repair, what do we do? What can we possibly do? If the items listed doon sa zero cash, doon sa define, ay mangyari, no? So what can we do to at least minimize the effects if we cannot prevent them? Well, uh, to be honest, I have come up with a list of, sino pa yung pwedeng takbuhan, ano? Can we ask for help from blank, blank, blank? Can we file for a personal loan from blank, blank, blank? Can we approach specific individuals, persons? Can we advance, for instance, uh, confirmed, yung mga confirmed uh, training days na, na ano pa lang, no? Na confirmed pero postponed lang naman. So, can we possibly? So, under repair, the ones I have listed, medyo kapala ng mukha yan, ano? But simple framework, ask the question, what if, Specifically, the worst case scenario, in this case, what if we still do not get any revenues by June and beyond? And then specific items that, will, that might happen under defined, things that you can do to prevent, and then things you can do to repair. I am very much fond of this uh, uh, Stephen Covey uh, material. This is from Stephen Covey under the seven habits. Uh, sabi niyo, dalawang bagay lang naman daw ang buhay natin. Controllable and uncontrollable. Controllable and uncontrollable. And I had, to, I had to print this. I had to post this somewhere in my room office. I had to remind myself of this. Not only once per day, but twice a day, three times a day, four times a day. Sandali muna. Controllable, uncontrollable, controllable, uncontrollable. And look at this data. Another assessment. This was given to me by, this was sent to me a few weeks ago by a friend. Sabi niya, Jet, look at this data. Americans are the most unhappy people in the world. This is a study conducted by ABC News in 2013. The most prosperous country in the world, world happens to be the most unhappy people in the world likewise. So controllable and controllable. Eh? Controllable and controllable. So what do we do now? Uh, look at this. Uh, let, let, let us... Let us do a play. Let, let, let us play, play a game. Uh, you may be familiar with uh, this picture, uh, especially those uh, who's into psychology and the like. Uh, Paul, can you see this picture? Yes, sir, Jet. We can see the picture. Oh, oh. Ano ba mas mahaba dyan? Sige daw. If you're familiar, pretend na lang na hindi mo pa nakita yan. <laughs> <laughs> which of the two figures, which one is the longer, uh, uh, the first, the upper port, the upper figure or the lower figure? The lower figure, sir. The lower figure is the longer one. Right. The longer one. Okay. So, yung ating attendees, participants, you may want to also ask yourself, ano yung mas mahaba sa'yo dyan, ano? So, sabi ni Paul, mas mahaba yung nasa baba. So, let's, let's look at this. If we remove the arrows on both figures, it will show us only one thing. Pareho lang sila nung haba. They are both, in terms of length, pareho lang eh. So what is a powerful message of this for all of us? 
it is really about mindsets. We may be afraid of so many things right now. We may be so fearful of so many things right now. But it all boils down to mindsets. Sandali, baka naman hindi naman ganun eh. Let us do the what if. Let us define. Let us prevent. Let us repair. Baka naman yung iba ay controllable and then the uncontrollable, you might as well let go. Diba? Let us do another exercise. Paul, if you can still see this. Yes, it's sir, the sir. same question. Which of the two tables is longer? Ano yung mas mahaba? Which the is the longer the table? The one on the left. Right. Yan. Uh, kung may uh, gustong sumagot sa chat group, yung, sa chat box, you may do so. Uh, kung ano yung mas mahaba dyan. May lumalabas bang sagot, Paul? If you can see them. Yes, sir. Um, they're actually saying the same. Depends on left. the perspective. Left. Left. Uh, they're the same daw, sir. <laughs> they're the same. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Pero patunayan natin na the same. No? Nagamit tayo ng metacard. That's one, the same metacard on the left. And the same meta card on the right. The same size of meta card on the left. The same size of the meta card for the right table. Which shows us yung sumagot na same size. That's very good because the answer is correct. They're of the same size. And yet many people would say, in fact, the first time I saw this, sabi ko mas mahaba yung kaliwa, no? Uh, the, 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 the left table, the, the table on the left is much longer than the right. And yet, this is proving us otherwise. They are of the same size. So, this is the first R. We've got to stop. We've got, we've got, we've got to identify all these destructions. We stop them. Take a pause. Do nothing. And assess. Ano ba yung mga kinatatakutan ko ngayon? Ano ba yung mga galit ko ngayon? Ano ba yung mga what if? And then define them. What can I do to prevent them? And what can I specifically do to repair them? That's the first. The second is rediscover. Uh, hindi siya madali because among the three R's, I think the longest would be the first, which is reflect. But proceed we must to rediscover. And when we say rediscover, we are specifically focusing on realizations, aha moments, refocusing, recalibrating, going deep within. Talagang deep dive ito, deep dive. Uh, going to your heart, trying to go deep into your heart. What do I benef What benefits do I get from this? Uh, saan ako magaling? What are my strengths? Uh, where do I need to refocus? What do I need to recalibrate? And so on. And for everyone, you may want to take a screenshot of this. You can do this after our session today. Um, it's a free online survey. If you are uh, worried about your uh, data privacy uh, stuff, you may register anonymously. You may use another name. You may use... Uh, a uh, different name, a different email, but uh, if you if you visit this and uh, go through the survey, I just want you to be very honest about this, no right or wrong answer. Just be very very honest about this and answer the question. This will take you about less than ten minutes. But what is the value of this character strength survey? Uh, this will give you a powerful aha moment. This will give you a powerful material uh, in trying to rediscover what are our character strengths that we can use to outlast and come out of this pandemic not only alive but even happier. Now, uh, the value of this survey, uh, it will build our resilience enhance our overall well-being. Remember, we're still under quarantine. We still have 15 days to go or even more. It will improve, will improve relationships. 
and it will strengthen our ability to solve problems. So matutulungan tayo lalo doon sa first R, which is reflect, no? sa assessment. So let me show again the, the, the link. So take a screenshot of this or say this and then go to this site and accomplish the survey. This will give you a free online assessment of your character strengths, which will give you all of this. Now, major aha because of this survey. Alam ko na to dati, I am shameless. I can be very shameless. Hindi ako mahiyain, and this is a this is a strength in terms of training and development platform skills and presentations. And somehow, this survey validated na, uy, I can do this. No? We may have zero revenues as of today, but I can still possibly have revenues from other opportunities because this survey is validating, I am shameless. What is the value of I am shameless? Look at the of the results, no? So let me share you my, my own results. These are my top five, top five. So if you go to the website, uh, it will give you an in-depth analysis of your character strengths, which will give you all of these items. So just answer them as honestly uh, as possible for you to get very good results. So when I was looking at the first five, I said, "Iko nga no appreciation of beauty and excellence." Totoo yun eh. No, no matter uh, how simple uh, the situation, the environment, uh, I have this: uh, kindness, love, spirituality, and love of learning. Uh, let me share the last uh, nine. The bottom four. They are not necessarily uh, weaknesses. Uh, they are still strengths, but these are my bottom, bottom four. Hope, curiosity, leadership, and humor. And if in the following weeks, I endeavor to focus on these nine character strengths, the value of focusing on, focusing on these nine strengths will give me, oy, ito yan. No? Resiliency, overall well-being, improved relationships, strengthened ability to solve problems. So go to that website and you will also get comprehensive. This is free. Just go to their website. Walang advertisement yan. And you may even use your own uh, uh, separate account or uh, different name. So rediscover. And uh, let me share Dahil uh, I have a very good friend, an HR, an HR manager of uh, a fast food chain. I'm sure many of us, uh, many of us rediscovered something during this. And uh, this HR manager, this friend of mine, it in this COVID, in Yano, sabi niya, we can do this, banana cheese balls. So if we can do this and our friends like it, perhaps we can start selling this. I have her permission to share this. Uh, if she is uh, watching this now, uh, I'm not mentioning her name, but uh, look at this. She started May 5, only this May 5, just barely three weeks ago. And this was her first post. And then three days ago, they were hitting 400 cheese balls orders already. So sabi niya, this is a major aha moment, major rediscovery. Yes, she's into fast food. Yes, she's the HR manager of a fast food chain. They are all over, I think they are all over the country. Um, but they've not, she has not done this on a personal basis. But uh, major aha moment. And today, sabi niya, record breaking. 400 cheese balls are over. And they're still confined in the north side. Wala pa sila sa Makati, no? Quezon City, Caloocan area, 
the Valencia's area, only on, the, only on those areas, they were able to achieve 400 cheese balls or orders already in a matter of less than three weeks. Major rediscovery for her. So rediscover and let us continue this even beyond pandemic. Let us continue to reflect and rediscover something. Oh, nga, kaya ko pa ito, no? Kaya ko pala ito. Pwede pala sa akin ito. And for me, if I'm shameless, well, why not, no? And the third R is uh, maganda yung tanong ni Darwin kanina. How do we become relevant in this age of uh, lockdowns? Face-to-face uh, -face meetings and face-to-face -face training sessions are still on hold. So I requested a very good friend to come up with a poster for me. Sabi ko, kaibigan, pwede bang gawad mo ako ng poster, online workshop ng organizing, leading, controlling. We do this for two days live, face to face, but we've never done this uh, online. So uh, let's offer it at a very, very cheap price of that amount. You can see the amount right there. So when we started email blasting this to some very close friends, sabi na, pwede, 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 and we're getting a lot of inquiries. We have two uh, reservations already, and we were able to come up with a free previews uh, of the session online. So we are relaunching uh, what used to be one of our banner programs for the last uh, 11 years since 2008. Face-to-face -face lamang ito. We've done this for many clients. Uh, we've done this for SM Super Malls. We've done this for KCC Malls. We've done this for PhilHealth. We have done it for other several clients, uh, Canon, Convergia, among, among many others. Pero face-to-face it. But we've got to relaunch, reflect, rediscover. Uy, pwede pala online, let's relaunch. And even beyond pandemic, pag pwede na uli yung face-to-face, uh, -face, I understand the uh, face-to-face uh, sessions will be allowed again under GCQ and beyond. Uh, nevertheless, we will continue doing this online uh, for our clients. Now, uh, earlier in our presentations, I asked the question, what are your wins the past 77 days? So let me share my own, uh, by way of answering this, let me share my very own, some of the few wins for the last 77 days. I have six. Uh, oy, pwede pala yon. Uh, now we have time. I have attended 57 webinars so far. I have completed watching and listening to about 30 TED Talks. Fantastic TED Talks. Dati pa isa-isa lang once a week or not even once a week. But in a matter of uh, a few weeks, we, we were able to complete 30 TED Talks. I was able to complete five online courses, uh, free and paid. Um, we've conducted a free view some preview sessions of the online POLC, basic leadership, uh, eight different clients. Uh, so if you'd like us to do this preview session for you for one, one and a half hours, uh, let us know. Uh, walking. I rediscovered walking 50 times of the past 77 days. 50 days of the 77 days. I started walking and uh, I started intentionally talking to myself while walking. Just self-talk, self-talk. And can you imagine my record, my highest is 32 kilometers in one day from San Antonio in Makati all the way to Salcedo Village, Salcedo, Salcedo Park. Uh, if you're familiar in Salcedo Village, uh, uh, those who are watching from that area, uh, BDO, UCPB head office area, 32 kilometers in one day, 50 times out of 77 days. I consider this as a major achievement. Dami kong notes dyan, and dami kong self-talk, and dami reflect, rediscovery. Uh, number six, uh, medyo funny ito. I started writing a book. This has been an ongoing joke among friends. Uh, 
uh, even my training assistants, I would uh, I would joke na oy someday I would write a book and the title would be Cunyeta, the art of getting what you want. Uh, please don't be offended. Cunyeta uh, is not is not a curse or a pi word, uh, but it's it's what participants would readily remember that in some of my sessions I would blurt out Cunyeta. Uh, but um, uh, it was just a running joke, uh, nothing serious about it. But during this lockdown, sabi ko, oh nga, I rediscovered this uh, and started writing. Uh, the title could still change, but so far I have three chapters completed and starting with my fourth this week. So hopefully, hopefully we are able, uh, we will not sell this. We will hopefully give this free, free of charge, free online. Uh, pray that I get to finish this book, which started as a joke from way, way back. So I've listed six of those other wins for the last uh, seven to seven days. And these wins may continue beyond uh, June 1 or uh, June 15. Uh, all right. I'm gi being given uh, 45 minutes, uh, one hour. Uh, Darwin, Paul, uh, if we have some questions, Siguro. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I think that would be about it. Uh, let me just uh, share. Uh, uh, sige, side view, no? Para medyo makapal yung buhok natin dyan, Paul. <laughs> Kita yung halata. <laughs> you, may like our, uh, you may like our Facebook page. Uh, it's there. Uh, Jeff Della, trainer, consultant, speaker. Uh, especially those who like to have a preview of the POLC that we've re relaunched. And uh, uh, let me just share again. Uh, all right. Uh, the three R's reflect, which is SPA. I call it SPA. Take a SPA. Uh, stop all destructions. Pause. Assess. And use the framework that I shared you. Very simple. Hindi siya napaka, napaka highfalutin scientific, uh, di ba? Three columns, define, prevent, repair. Just be honest in answering. Number two, rediscover, answer the, go to the website, answer the free online uh, survey, and get your free online assessment of your character strengths. And then rediscover about many things that will make us winners, not only during the lockdown, but even, even way, way beyond. All right. Darwin? Okay, um, thank you very much, Sir Jet. Sir Jet, um, what, what, what I find really valuable on what you've shared during your presentation for the three R's is really, these are more practical tips on how a person or how we can adapt to the new normal against, against all of the noises, against all of the issues, the problems, the fears yes. that we are having, the uncertainty that we will be facing. I mean, the noises, no? I mean, so many noises. Kaya na, stop eh. Stop all distractions. At talaga, persado tayo ngayon. We are forced because of the lockdown. Eh, sayang kung Netflix lang eh. Uh, nothing against the K-dramas and everything. Nothing against them. Uh, kaya lang, uh, sayang, no? Sayang. Like, can you imagine Paul rediscovering Malabon? And... Uh, <laughs> It's, right, Paul? Right, yeah. oh, and uh, you've started sending uh, so cheap uh, seafoods to Darwin. Wala pa dito sa San Antonio, ha? Oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> so can you imagine? Ito yun, eh. So reflect, rediscover, and relearn. So which we can still do even beyond, even beyond the lockdown. I, I agree, Sir Jack. And the three R formula, again, applies to all the stages of our life, our or whoever or what, whatever we are into in our life, the, the three R's would help us be able to focus on how we can resolve our issues, our personal issues, our personal challenges, and be able to um, maybe reinvent ourselves. Uh, it says here that um, we need to reflect, rediscover, and relaunch. And when we say relaunch it's really starting a new you or starting a better you making sure that we make use of the time that we have make, make making sure that whatever 
opportunities that this pandemic or this global crisis uh, are, are giving us, we're seeing this as not not just challenges but opportunities. Really, it's how you shift your 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 mind and see the good things that, that can still happen to your life. Now, I, I believe, uh, Sajet, there are questions that is already being raised by our audience. Uh, Paul, would you like to start the Q&A? But before that, uh, May Montero says that, uh, thank you for sharing this valuable topic. We've learned a lot. Congratulations. Valerie Robledo says, thank you. We learned a lot. And surely this will serve as my guidelines from now on. Congratulations. Uh, Jobeth and Emily says, thank you. And uh, Sharon says, thank you to PHRG for our continued learning sessions. Wag po na po kayong aalis, mga, mga masugid namin taga-subaybay at taga-panood ng virtual training class. We will be answering your questions. So you can just type your questions in the Q&A. And Paul Herrera, my co-host for today, will be able to uh, uh, relay your questions to Sir Jet. Paul? Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Darwin. Um, Sir Jet, I just have a question. No? Actually, it's really a good reflection. Um, how can okay. you stop distractions? Technically, kasi ako, uh, personally, um, I have a lot of things in mind to do during the pandemic. Pero sabi mo, sabi nga natin, uh, there's a lot of distractions like Netflix. I mean, nauubos ang time ko for Netflix. So, how do we stop distractions in the first place? Okay. Uh, the experts are saying na our brain works about 400, 450 thoughts uh, per minute. So, even without doing anything, the brain is multitasking already. So 400 to 450 words per minute, uh, thereabouts, yung distractions going on in our minds already. So distracted na siya eh. uh, Harder to control. But what is very much controllable is our power to disconnect. Kasi you mentioned Netflix and HBO and Twitter and Facebook. Ilan log out lang eh, or bubunotin lang ano, or iiwanan lang yung laptop. And uh, I mentioned about 50 days out of 77 days walking. Yung first week ng walking, may dalang laptop eh, may dalang uh, gadget. So I discovered parang, parang uh, distracted pa rin ano. So the following week, intentionally, even yung cell phone, iniwan ko sa sasakyan, no laptops, nothing at all. So for one and a half hours, from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m., either in San Antonio or in Salcedo Village, I would walk continuously, non-stop, either dahan-dahan or bisque walking, one and a half hours non-stop, bringing with me no gadget at all. So for one and a half hours, Par parang ang dami aha moments eh. So I think that is the easiest thing to do is to dis to really disconnect. Dahil uh, maski wala sa screen mo naka on yung sounds. Merong pumasok na notification. Tutunog siya eh. So nando na yung yung urge na uy may notification. At ang dami nito Facebook notification, Viber notification, Twitter notification, and so on, no? So, uh, uh, while the internet speed is a blessing, uh, yun yung puputuli natin doon sa first R. To really intentionally, deliberately disconnect, pause, and do nothing. Yan. Yan siguro. Disconnect lang eh. Yes, Darwin. Darwin, you're saying something. You're on mute. Darwin, you're on mute. Sorry, I was on mute. Ay ay ay, zige zige. Okay, so Jet, I, I think what what you just what you just mentioned in terms of uh, being disconnected to 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 HBO, to Netflix, so to social media. Ito yung tinatawag natin na ano, di ba? Uh, social media detox or tech detox. 
wherein we we need to have a conscious effort to yes to focus. conscious effort yeah we need to have a conscious effort to focus more on the things that are really important to us and not the things that takes our time which are not really important to what we're doing and what we're planning in our lives i think that's a that's the fit the term no uh yung ginamit mo and um, just be deliberate about it the conscious effort conscious effort agree to really disconnect uh -huh. so napakadami ng questions natin ngayon sa ating Q&A but before i go to to Paul for for the questions in our Q&A box there is a question that was posted at the chat box and this is from Emmaline mm -hmm. Emmaline says that as one of the leaders in the company what interventions can we apply to be able to encourage our team members to be more productive and avoid distractions? So he's coming from a people leader um, issue that the team should not be distracted. Okay, I have been I have been seeing posts uh, even in our uh, Philippine HR group uh, page. Uh, I've been seeing some uh, questions about how do we measure the productivity of our staff while working from home, no? Uh, but I decided uh, to keep quiet and not respond because marami namang sumagot na ng tama, no? Like, why do you need to measure in the first place? Di ba? The mere fact that all of us are going through this uh, measuring the productivity while working from home is parang, uh, parang additional burden uh, for the employees na WFH. You know? So having said this, uh, I think many of us uh, got to read this email from uh, the head of Airbnb. Uh, if, you have, if you have not seen this, you may want to Google the uh, email letter of uh, the CEO of Airbnb because one of the hardest hit uh, is the hospitality industry and Airbnb happens to be the informal informal uh, side of the hospitality industry. Ano yung unang-unang uh, makikita mo doon? Ano? Uh, the honesty, the sincerity, the openness of the head of the organization in sharing everything that he could possibly share. That's one. Eh? The openness of the people managers, the sincerity of the people managers, ito yung, nang, ito yung nangyayari, nangyayari sa atin. Eh. Di ba? I mentioned I don't have a payroll uh, earlier, but I maintained uh, some friends uh, with allowance, allowances every now and then on a regular basis. As early as February, uh, yung dalawa dyan, sinabihan ko, wala tayong benta eh. Tinamaan tayo ng Taal Volcano and uh, uh, COVID. Uh, this is how it looks. Ito yung pumasok na pera sa atin ng January. Ito yung pumasok na pera sa atin ng February. Uh, swerte nga because uh, we were still able to conduct two days, two trading days for March. So, uh, showing them actual figures, the two of them, dalawa lang naman yun, showing them actual numbers, so the openness and the sincerity uh, to share with them these figures. And as early as February, we were able to cut costs, stop. They accepted. They, they, they said, okay lang. Uh, marami pa naman kaming pera, sir. Okay, sabi ko, pwede, pwede, pwede ako muna yung humiram ngayon sa inyo. But seriously, uh, uh, they readily accepted. So when we're when we're talking about how do I inspire my people, my staff, I think that Airbnb example, Air, Airbnb CEO example, can be very valuable for all of us. The sincerity, the openness of the the chief, the top man, uh, in sharing all of this information to everyone. The second learning I got from that email, email lang yon. Napakahabang email. But the second aha moment ko doon sa letter niya was um, 
uh, hindi naman namin kayo pababayaan. Uh, well, uh, th that's what I got. That, that yes, we will be retrenching you. You will be removed from the company. You will be retrenched. But hindi namin kayo pababayaan. Retrench or not, both those who will be remaining and those who will leave uh, will be taken care of. Malinaw na malinaw yon dun sa letter. If you go through that email of the Airbnb chief, malinaw yon. There are even specific action steps that they will do for those who will be retrenched. Now, uh, I have this one organization, one client organization, na retrenching about 450 plus employees. The employees, some of the managers shared with me the, the letter of the uh, CEO. Makakalungkot eh. Sabi ko, sana pinatter na lang doon sa email na yun ng Airbnb chief. No? So, two things eh. To answer Emily, number one, the sincerity of the people, of the people at the top, the openness of the people at the top to, to just discuss everything. It's a totally different situation. And number two, number two is hindi namin kayo pababayaan na matter what happens. And I think those two things will, will really inspire people eh, even beyond. Yan. I hope that answer is Darwin. Okay, thank you very much for that, Sir Jet. And, and so just to piggyback on, on what uh, Sir Jet has mentioned earlier. Um, I think one of the things that uh, you should do as a people leader is really to trust your people to do what is right in terms of being productive, even if you're not there. I, I think it all boils down to the kind of culture or values that you that you cultivate in your company or that you that you share in your team. I mean. Uh, Part of having the core value of, of integrity is making sure that even if the boss and supervisor are not there, uh, the people will still be productive and will still find ways to be productive because they appreciate what the company is doing for them. Or they, they appreciate the fact that um, the, the organization is already part of their life and they should do things that would would uh, make sure uh, that that particular company would grow and prosper. So, Sir Jet, let's go to to the many questions in our Q and A box. So, Paul, you can start. All right, um, Sir Jet, we have a question from Jason Makaraigno. How can we be prepared in uncontrollable tasks or unplanned task? Uncontrollable task in terms of ano kaya yon ano? Uh, Ano kaya ang context ng question? Uh, if uh, he is referring to, all right, um, uh, I got, I received a task from my boss. Uh, if this is what he means, and uh, uh, sige, yung kaya yung siguro, yung siguro yung sir, I know. Siguro, sir, it's more of um, you have your plan already and there are okay. unplanned tasks that was added uh -huh. to your... Or to additional your... tasks that was added yeah. to your plate. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's probably more of the, what do you call this? Uh, siguro, distractions. Or new roles also. Right. New roles given to you to handle uh -huh. where you might not be prepared enough to, to, to take the uh, additional responsibilities Role. or additional roles. Okay, uh, there is a choice of clarifying everything with the task giver. No? Uh, it is not easy, I'm not saying this is easy, but I think this is the only choice we can do, we can do no? especially if the task is coming from somebody higher than you are. Of course, the most painful is to say no and risk the, risk, uh, the possibility of uh, getting suspended or uh, terminated or sanctioned. But I think nothing will beat the choice of finding the timing of approaching the task giver. Kunyari, boss mo yan. At latag natin, boss, kasi I have these 10 items given by you. 
for the last one week, for the last two weeks, for the last three weeks, you've, give, you've given me these 10 tasks. Sampu ito. Uh, ano ba yung term natin? Uh, Argentinians. Argent lahat, di ba? So, ngayon may, may, may additional ka na namang task. 11 na ito, 12 na ito. Two or three more in addition to the previous 10. So, ito yan, labing dalawa yan. Boss, ano talaga yung gusto mong unahin ko? I think this is the only choice. Eh. Uh, we can sulk, we can just keep quiet, uh, feel bad about it, and uh, uh, complain a lot. Uh, but balikan natin yung controllable and uncontrollable. Ang controllable natin is nothing will stop us from approaching the boss, law of the timing, approaching the boss and say, boss, I have these 10 items already from you. Eh. Sabi mo, urgent lahat ito. Now you have two additional. Kung uunahin ko itong dalawang bago, magsasuffer yung sampu. Can you please tell me, of the 12, 13 items, ano talaga yung gusto mong, ano talaga yung magpapaligaya sa'yo? I think this is not a choice. Uh, now, of course, some people would say, Sir Jeff, but my boss is a hole. Pag lumapit ako ng ganyan, uh, I get a BS. I get a sh yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I got a lot of it from previous bosses. I got, I got a lot of it. I tell you, uh, one of the reasons of my resignations from a previous job is because of, a, because of an a-hole boss. So I get it. Uh, kaya lang, uh, it's the only choice, eh. And I'm, I've been mentioning law of the timing. May kiliti naman yan, eh. May kiliti naman. I had a boss. Uh, I'm sure, pag napanood niya ito sa YouTube later on, sasabihin niya, ako na naman ito in example ni Jeff. I, mean, I, mean, I, have a, I have a boss before. Kahit gaano kalaki ang kanyang galit. If you start talking about light of Jesus with him, for instance, <laughs> kumakalma siya, eh. Kahit gaano siya ka-offend, kahit gaano siya ka-disappointed, kahit gaano kasama yung araw niya, if you come in and talk about both Sanchez and Light of Jesus community, he starts feeling, start feeling good. Kumakalma siya, no? So every time I go into his office, at the wrong timing, it's, I, I, it's either I do not go in, I do not bother him, or I start talking about L.O.J. Light of Jesus Community. If Brother Joel Saludares can watch this later on, I'm sure kilala niya kung sino yung boss ko na yan dati. <laughs> Pero, yun yung kiniti niya eh. No? Kunyari, I, 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 I have a problem that I, 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 I need assistance uh, in terms of solving. Eh, may bad news sa kanya. So, hindi pwedeng lumapit. Pero hindi makapaghintay eh. I need his point of view, I need his, his suggestion or decision now. Do I barge in and start talking about the problem? I won't do that. Instead, I would ask and talk about how, how was the CG meeting last night? How was the prayer meeting the other day, the other week? Something connect with the light of Jesus. And when I do this, he starts lighting up. In a few minutes, he starts feeling okay. In a few minutes, he starts asking, ano, ano ba talaga agenda mo? Why are you here? <laughs> so once he starts asking that way, oh, this is kasi ako ilalaktag. Boss kasi, sampu itong pinapatapos mo sa akin eh. May dinagdakang dalawa tatlo eh. Ano ba talaga magpapaligaya sa'yo dito sa labing tatlo? <laughs> y yung, 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 yung talaga magpapaligaya sa'yo. Yan. But by the time I, I start doing this, he's okay already because I started my 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 entry with something related to LOJ. So baka may ganun yung boss ko. Hanapin, hanapin lang natin. Ano. Uh, my training assistants, uh, Aya Robledo from New Jersey, uh, used to be one of my train, original training assistants. Alam niya, paano ang kiliti ko eh? Coffee lang eh. Kahit na sumisigaw na ako sa galit sa isang training session, for instance, dahil sa kapalpakan ng venue o kapalpakan ng organizer, Aabutan lang ako niya ng kape, kumakalpa na ako eh. So may kilite, baka, baka yun po lang hahanapin lang natin. Ano? Right, so uh, that. Actually, for the uncontrollable, quote unquote, uncontrollable right. task. Right. I'm about to say that, no? Uh, kasi in, with my previous companies, with my previous boss, I, I, what I used to do is to give her a cup of coffee 
or uh-huh. invite him for lunch. Okay. At least to lighten the to lighten the momentum, just in case my problem, ba, ma init ba ulo niya. So I invited him or her or her sa lunchtime during lunchtime, and at least uh, do some sharing from there. Kasi may intindihan mo asa nagagaling si boss. Bakit lagi siyang galit? Bakit hindi ka okay. makaporma? Uh-huh. And I think from there you can also request something. Okay, agree and that's that. very effective sa akin. Ah. <clears throat> Thank you for 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 sharing, Paul. Uh, so, Sir Chet, I know. Um, just to add on to what you and Paul has mentioned with regards to uncontrollable tasks and planned mm-hmm. tasks, Siguro, I, I think we we need to focus also on. Isabi mga you, you need to ask your boss what is urgent and important. Because it's bakit ibalagay yung urgent sa important. And now, yes. if you understand which are the urgent ones and and, and the important ones, um, provide a solution on how you'll be able to time manage those those particular tasks that was given to you. Um, Sir Jet, meron dito isang, isang question sa chat box. Uh, basahin okay. ko lang, Paul, ha? This is okay. from Jolene. And um, this is very a, a very interesting question kasi it, it goes um, it, it goes beyond the three hours, eh. Uh, so, as I said, Jolene is after reflecting, rediscovering, and venturing into relaunching or inventing oneself, is there a possibility for a Juning Kruger effect in this reinvention of self and how to avoid it? And as we know, the Juning Kruger effect is really more of a cognitive bias wherein you see, you see and feel highly of yourself even, with, even though you do not have the, the knowledge or skill set to do such such things, right? So, sinasabi niya, sige, meron akong nag-reflect na ako, nag-discover na ako, ini-invent ko sarili ko, pero ano yung, it's a thin line from being overly biased about yourself without even, without even thinking, do I really, can I really do these things? Or can I really achieve those things? What's your opinion on that, Sir Jet? Okay. Uh, I am guilty. I'm very much guilty, especially when I was still starting in my career. I was, uh, what, 23, 24 years uh, old. Many years ago, I was a manager in Legazpi City in Albay. And I'm guilty of this, no? And we're familiar with this, uh, uh, the concept of the blind spot. So basically, uh, we need, we need somebody trusted enough to give us that feedback because, uh, for instance, when we did the uh, online version of POLC, originally the design was, if we will offer this, it would be on a three-day session at four hours per day. Four hours per day. So that's uh, 12 hours of three continuous days. So when I showed this to some friends in the training community, sabi nila, Jeff, nakakapagod ang webinar. Kung four continuous hours, studies have been uh, uh, popping up na four hours is too much. Perhaps you'd like to bring it down to one hour or three hours or maximum three hours. So we asked several friends again because we thought, uh, kalahating araw lang yun eh, uh, baka naman kakayanin. Kaya yan. Managers and supervisors yung target. So kaya yung four hours. Uupo lang sila muna ng, ano, in front of the screen for the next four hours at uh, three consecutive days. But uh, the feedback we got, uh, medyo yun ni Muse, na four hours is too much. And when we did the preview, finally we did the preview for uh, the clients. As I mentioned, we did eight previews, uh, free previews for clients. Uh, the four hours was too much. And when we lowered it to two hours uh, per day, must uh, manageable. So to prevent the effect na kinatatakutan nitong uh, listener natin, viewer natin, is that we need somebody trusted who will give us the feedback to avoid to avoid uh, having this blind spot. Otherwise, 
ma- marami niyan eh, hindi ba? Marami niyan. And our ignorance will really show when it's too late. Di ba? Nerelaunch mo, uh, hindi mo pala kaya, akala mo kaya, hindi pala kaya, and then ignorance will show, yun ang nakakaya eh. Especially if uh, we are being paid, it's either we are getting salary out of it or we are getting professional fees out of it. Uh, nakakahiya. Uh, for instance, uh, let me share one specific training program. Uh, I have been receiving uh, requests for personality development workshops. Since 2005, 2008, uh, all the way uh, for the last 11, 12 years, we've been getting inquiries and requests for personality development. Kaya lang, based on, based on the information and the feedback, the honest feedback that we get, hindi para sa akin yung programa yan, Darwin eh. Perhaps it, it, it's for uh, Abigail Arenas. Perhaps it's for, perhaps it's for you. To conduct, it, it, perhaps it's for uh, uh, Miss Olin Lim uh, and and the rest uh, 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 or Patricia Joy, but it's not for Jeff Nera. Eh. Pero pwede ko sabihin, hindi kaya ko yan, pag-aralan ko yan. Babasahin ko yung maraming materials, maraming online. Diba? But my ignorance will show, for instance, uh, I don't use lipstick, so uh, when people start asking about the right tone, the right hour, the right shade of lipstick, then my ignorance will show. Di ba? Lalabas eh. So, to avoid that, uh, I think the honest feedback is a gift. Uh, especially during the relaunch and even beyond the relaunch to get a continuous honest feedback para hindi tayo sumapit doon. Ano? The one you're mentioning. Yeah, because it can happen. Yes, it can happen. I agree with that, Sir Jet. Um, we, we should really have a circle of friends or a circle of professional critics who will be able to help us um, see the, the blind spots or, 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 or be, be, be able to provide uh, critical suggestions on how we can improve ourselves or how we will we'll be able to, to do better. Because sometimes we, we become overly ha- Overly confident of the things that we would like to do, and yes, um, overly confident. Uh-oh. Yeah, and it can lead to possible failure. Actually, meron si nabinito si Mina for me. Uh, I just like to to uh, share this. Mina for me said that uh, <laughs> intellectual humility is one of the best characteristics of an authentic leader. So, if you are an authentic leader, being able to have humility. To, to get feedback, honest feedback, honest mm-hmm. criticism is, is something that would be a good foundation for you to grow. So, Sir Jeff, um, we just have a few more minutes. So, I'll be giving Paul the, the time for, to ask two last questions. Paul? Yep. Um, we'll have one question from Rico. Hi, Rico. Um, what will be the HR role in an organization to address the top management to be more productive in time of COVID? I think this is really a good question. No? Uh-uh. Ano ulit, Paul? Sorry. Nawawala si Paul. Uh, Sir Jet, uh-huh. asabi ni Enrico is, what will be the HR's role in an organization uh-huh. To address top management to be more productive in times of COVID-19. For the top management to be more productive? Or for the organization to be more productive? I think it's more of our, our role to make sure that the organization... Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh-uh. The, the, the organization would be able to um, uh, be more productive because that's the... That's the journey or that's the decision of top management. All right. Uh, the pandemic is sort of a blessing for HR because naging frontliner tayo, no? In terms of uh, the camp, uh, the amelioration uh, 
the CAMP uh, Dole Fund, and then the SBWS, and then uh, the value of uh, uh, those na, na arranged on HMO coverage among uh, many other things. So parang at the forefront uh, in the organization, nasa harapan yung HR, no? attending to all of these inquiries from uh, so many uh, employees. Um, now, in terms of productivity of the organization, kasi right now, uh, tigil talaga lahat, ano? as in zero revenues for many organizations across industries, uh, painful reality. But I got, I got to see this article from CNN about Toyota. I don't know if you've seen this. When the chairman of the board, or the CEO, announced that COVID-19 is, is not the right time to do mass layoffs or layoffs. Na parang it is uh, not morally correct to do retrenchments in times of COVID-19. Uh, ano yung effect nito sa organization? Ano? The entire Toyota, instead of, uh, although they've been losing billions of dollars all over the world because of this pandemic, uh, it somehow not only reinforced the core values, but energized the entire organization that no matter what happens, management will not do something that will hurt the company and the people inside the company. Uh, I think assurance, eh? the assurance from the management team that whatever decision we will do from here on will be for the best benefit of everyone. Uh, I have been seeing many posts, even in our PHRG, na nagpapasalamat sa companies nila, no? na nagpapasalamat sa HR. I've been seeing text messages na sinishare ng mga HR members natin sa PHRG thanking HR for doing something about SBWS, simple inquiries, simple text. So I will go down to, I think one word is inspiring. Inspiring the entire organization, which I believe will drive productivity in the long run. Because people will remember, people will remember that the company was there now, and if this happens again, this is how the company will treat them. Uh, let me cite one client of mine from Mindanao, KCC Mall of Jensan. Uh, they are even bigger than the national uh, players. They are bigger in terms of revenues versus SM and Robinsons. They are in Sambuanga, General Santos Marbel, and soon Cotabato. Uh, I've seen posts by employees that they were so, the term is shocked. They were pleasantly shocked that they received not one, not two, not three kilos, not five kilos, but even way, way beyond uh, of what they were expecting from the company. Not, not three cans of canned goods, not five cans of canned goods. It one, it's one dozen of, one dozen of a kind, one dozen of, of uh, corned beef, for instance, one dozen of, of, of other stuff. So they were posting pictures, almost all of them were posting pictures of what they've got, because the term is shocked na yung company pala namin, ganito yung gagawin in, term, in times of crisis. So... I might as well return this to my company. I think that alone, that alone is uh, uh, something that will inspire them to be productive. Because sasabihin ko na ito, pardon the word, pardon the word, napakakapal na ng mukha ng empleyado na nakikita nila yung, yung, yung organization doing everything that is morally correct, everything that is in tune with their core values, at hindi, hindi pa ito ibabalik in terms of in terms of uh, productivity. Babalik eh. Uh, 
uh, bubble. It, yung ibabalik. So you want to drive productivity in your organization. The message to that management is go back to your core values, fight for them. This is the time to display. Number two, yung minensyon ko kanina, Airbnb CEO, just open up everything, just be sincere. Uh, and this will inspire them to be to be good. It is not easy because, well, it requires funds. It requires funding. Uh, but, uh, yun nga eh, how would you like to be, how would you like, as an organization, how would you like to be remembered after this COVID-19? And uh, people are posting. People are advertising what, what the company is doing for everyone. So if you're doing something negative, people are advertising your negatives. Versus if your company is doing what is morally correct, your people are also advertising this. Yun lang yung sa akin yan. Okay, so it, it, it really helps on branding. No? Your, every decision of management would actually have a, um, uh, an impact to the team members, to the entire organization. And our role as an HR is really more of to have proper communication uh, and be, be able to be, sabi nga, HR is the heart and we need to show resilience uh, at this time. So we, we need to make sure that we, uh, the employee see us as someone that is able to uh, carry out the company's uh, mission, vision, and goals and, and instill that even at this moment of crisis to our co-employees. So, Sir Jet, we're really out Wait, of ulitin time. Natin yan, ha? Ulitin natin yan, Darwin. HR is the heart and the conscience yes, of the organization. Heart and conscience of the, the organization. Sure. So, Sir Jet, we're, we're really out of time right now. Um, we, no, over time uh, tayo. Uh, Sorry. No, no, no worries, Sir Jet. Um, we still have a lot of questions, but I'm sure that uh, they will be able to reach out to you. So, Sir Jet, um, before we go, before we let you go, would you like to invite our our listeners, our audience who are watching right now and who will be watching via our YouTube uh, recording of this session, uh, Virtual Training Class uh, Season 2, Class 3, what are you doing right now and how they can contact you? All right. Uh, the very good news is that uh, clients have started calling. In fact, uh, we're expecting to run uh, our first program post-COVID, uh, a two-day workshop uh, for only 10 participants of managers uh, next month, this June. Um, and uh, we will continue uh, offering uh, the one, they can still see the slide, right? Uh, yes. Uh -oh. Uh, so if you'd like this for your uh, company, for your uh, supervisors, team leaders, managers, we can do this for you online. Uh, if you're still uh, worried about uh, COVID-19, we can do this uh, for you online. Uh, just uh, get in touch with us. Our email is right there, inquiries.china.gmail.com. Uh, and let me flash again our... Uh, 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 Facebook page, you may want to like us for our other offering uh, in the very near future and other postings. Thank you, uh, uh, Darwin and Paul, for this opportunity to share, no matter how limited the time is, uh, to share with you and uh, PHRG. Magbuhayang PHRG, the largest, uh, uh, but, uh, well, may mga pasaway ng konti, but konti lang naman. We're still growing, Sir Jet, and I think... We're uh, still growing, yes. Yeah, we're, we're still growing, and part of our mission is to uh, improve the behavior and, and advance the, the profession of our community. So again, yes. Sir Jet Nera, maraming maraming salamat po sa pag uh, Again, if you would like to uh, be in touch with Sir Jet Nera, please get in touch with him through his Facebook account uh, and also the, the email that was prompted and uh, this video will be uploaded via YouTube uh, mm. in the Philippines HR Group's official YouTube channel. So again, my name is Darwin. I'm the president of Philippine HR Group and Paul Herrera is our co-host for tonight. Paul, would you like to say goodbye to our audience? 
Yep. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. And of course, Job Street, thank you so much for partnering with Philippine thank you, Job Street. Group. You're thank always you, Job Street. supportive to us. Thank you so much. Sir, thank you so much. Not the last time that we'll, you'll be our guest again. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone. God bless. Happy weekend. Thank you, Paul. Bye.